Hello and welcome to another outdoor vlog with me selfie stick again. We're out in the English Lake District again. We're in a very remote corner here in the northeastern sort of fells. There's, there's not a soul around here. Just look up there. I mean, it's absolutely superb. Beautiful. I'm camped. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit wobbly. There I am, I'm camped just down there. So. Right, so today, when I get in the frame of this thing, I want to talk about... Um, God, I'm wobbling all over the place today. I, I want to talk about uh, the British festival scene, the outdoor British festival scene. Um, today our lad, he actually uh, got on stage at the High Point Festival in Lancaster. And uh, he's, he's with a group, a group of uh, people called Stage School. So there's, he wasn't on his own or anything, there was quite a few of them on stage, but they were doing um, excerpts from Oliver and stuff like that. And the old pick a pocket or two and all, the, all that great Lionel Bart stuff like him. And he was up there like experiencing that first hand, but it did get me thinking like, you know. These, this, the, the British outdoor festival scene is massive now, isn't it? It's huge. Everybody seems to have a festival for something or other. Most towns, cities, even villages, the, 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 there's some sort of festival going on throughout the sort of summer months in the UK. And uh, it's a wonderful thing. And to me, it's kind of the lifeblood the lifeblood of the music scene in this country now, really. So, um, I know the elephant in the room will be, oh, what about pubs and all the rest of it and the small clubs? Well, the pandemic seriously, seriously laid waste to a lot of that. That pub scene hasn't recovered yet at all. I mean, in my area, yeah, there are venues to play and they're great for up and coming acts and that. I want to get out there. And I'm not saying that they're not a great starting point but I think for bands to actually survive uh, for a living you know make a living call it professional if you want um, the, the outdoor festival circuit is a way of doing that you can, you can get on there and loads of different bills and uh, different types of music even you, you can, I mean the Lancaster one the high point one they had all sorts of Kaiser Chiefs uh, clean bandit. I mean, just a lot of real mixture of people. And my mate, uh, my mate Darren Kyle, uh, he's uh, he's going to be collaborating with us on some stuff. His daughter, uh, she played on the Saturday Saturday afternoon on the stage and that. I mean, she's got a band and that, and she's a singer songwriter and all that. It's great. It's great for that. It's it's a lifeblood for for, for acts really to. Uh, get themselves out there in front of bigger audiences and that. I mean the days of record contracts and um, you know the, the, the sort of send your demo in and get signed to a big label and then they bung you loads of money in an advance and all that. Off. For most, for most of us, especially in the rock scene now, those days are gone. But, but um, you can certainly get yourselves on these festivals there, you know. There's, there's the, the Kirby Lonsdale Beer Festival, which is about 20 miles north of where I am. Like That's a very popular one. And that, that's more for like your, you know, your, 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 your pub and small club acts. But it's very popular. So there's those kind of ones as well. So yeah, I do, I do think it is kind of like, it's a wonderful thing we've got going. Whether it's oversubscribed, I don't know, but I still think it's a great thing we have in this country. And uh, uh, long may it continue. And it's a great way for uh, bands to get uh, exposure in front of larger audiences. So, just remains for me to say, I hope you're all well out there. Oh, we live in crazy times. I mean. How crazy will the UK actually finish second last night in the Eurovision Song Contest? Having finished bottom with nil point for God knows how many years. Um, quite right with the Ukraine, the Ukraine uh, entry one. Um, quite rightly what's going on over there. So, we're living in crazy times, so, yeah, 
stay well, keep well guys and uh, I'll catch you all later. Bye.